Hey what's up guys this is Nish for Tech and Travel and welcome to another video where I go over the first impressions of the newly launched Moto E. Now first of all before saying anything I have to say that with the launch of the Moto E at a price of 7000 rupees Motorola has suddenly shuffled the whole competition in the smartphone market towards itself quite a lot if it wasn't already with the launch of the Moto G around December previous year and then the Moto X later. Let's see what the other companies like Micromax, Carbon or even Samsung and Nokia do to compete with this phone. Now I do know for a fact that this phone is also being simultaneously launched in the international markets and for my international viewers the price of this phone roughly converts to around 115 US dollars. Also for my Indian viewers, this phone is only being launched by Flipkart and will only be available on their website. Now coming to the specs, the Moto E boasts a 1.2 GHz dual core Snapdragon 200 processor combined with 1 GB of RAM. Along with this, it also has Adreno 302 400 MHz graphic processor that would ensure that you have at least a decent gaming experience. Now the screen as you would expect is a little smaller than the Moto G. It measures in at 4.3 inches in the Moto E as compared to 4.5 inches in the Moto G. The screen has a QHD resolution of 540 by 960 pixels thus it won't have the same clarity as compared to its elder brother or the other competitors but come on guys it's a lot cheaper too isn't it? Along with this, it also has Gorilla Glass 3, so theoretically speaking, it shouldn't break or crack in case of a fall, but still guys, for a precautionary measure, I would suggest putting on a bumper case and a screen protector to be safe. Now, the battery life should be more than enough to get you through a day on a single charge as it has a 1980 mAh battery in it. Not to mention, this phone is a dual active SIM phone along with a 5 megapixel rear camera which takes 720p images. However guys, the real quality of the image can only be seen when you see those images on a 720p or higher resolution display screens. The internal memory on this phone is 4GB. However, I guess a little less will be available to the user as some of it will be taken up by the Android 4.4 KitKat operating system. But an external memory card up to 32GB can be put in by the user for all his media content. Oh and yes, all the other features like Wi-Fi, 3G support and Bluetooth which generally nowadays are considered a given condition are also present in this phone if you were wondering. So in the end guys, I just want to say that I guess Motorola designed this phone only with India in mind as it has given most of the features of a good phone at a price almost all of us would gladly pay. Plus with the company like Motorola, quality and the reliability of the phone shouldn't be of a concern at all. So that was all for this video guys. Please subscribe to my channel for more content and like this video as well and also share your comments while you're at it. So until my next video guys, this is Nish saying peace out. P.S. This also has a radio app built in it, in case you were wondering that too.